Good morning, boys and girls. Miss Quast here, reading When Spring Comes by Kevin Hankies, illustrated by Laura Dronzek. Now, usually Kevin Hankies writes and illustrates his stories, so he's working with Laura today, and you'll notice his pictures are a little bit different than what we're used to seeing. And there's a beautiful insert showing all the signs of spring. Pussy willows, daffodils, tulips, rain for sure. Before spring comes, the trees look like black sticks against the sky. There's some cardinals sitting in that tree. But if you wait, spring will bring leaves and blossoms. Look at that beautiful color. The blossoms, pink and white, and in the field there's animals and insects. If you wait, spring will make the leftover mounds of snow smaller and smaller and smaller until suddenly they're gone. Do you recognize that little red-breasted bird in the corner there? That's a robin. I've seen them running across my lawn lately. Before spring comes, the grass is brown. But if you wait, spring will turn it green and add little flowers. Oh, the beautiful color. If you wait, an egg will become a bird. A seed will start growing. You can see the roots and the stem and leaves and the beautiful petals of the flower. Do you have any flowers growing in your garden yet? Spring comes with sun, and it comes with rain, and more rain, and more rain, or snow, if you live in Kamloops. Do you like mud? Do you like puddles? I hope you like umbrellas. Look, even the dog's getting in on jumping in those puddles, but he doesn't have his rubber boots on. Before spring comes, the garden is just dirt and empty. But if you wait, spring will push green shoots through the dirt to fill up the garden. Oh, that naughty little rabbit munching on the owner's leaves. And spring will call out the pussy willows and new kittens too. You'll know you found pussy willows because it's almost like they're little soft bits of fur on the end of each of the buds. They're beautifully soft. You might see some hyacinth in your garden starting to grow. They're one of the first spring plants that like to grow. Spring can come quickly or slowly. It changes its mind a lot, but when spring is finally here to stay, you will know it. There will be buds and bees and boots and bubbles. Oh, look at the kittens are playing. The bumblebees are pollinating. There will be worms and wings and wind and wheels. They better put their heads down. That robin looks hungry. Look at the kids enjoying a bike ride. You will feel it. You will smell it. You will hear it. What signs of spring can you feel? The warm air? The sunshine? What can you smell? The blossoms? What do you hear? The buzzing of the bees, the singing of the birds? That tells me it's spring. When spring is finally here to stay, you might think you are done waiting, but you're not. Mm, what are they growing here? Something delicious. Now you have to wait for summer. Oh, and you can see the fireworks and sailboats and beach time. What beautiful illustrations. That's a nice story for the season. What signs of spring can you see? Thanks for listening.